field trip. I didn't lie, just told mom and pop, off to school, and I am. I make sure to keep my hoodie up and my chin down. I hope nobody recognizes me. I skip across the school steps on my way to the subway. There, five skips worth. I was at school. I stuffed my hands in my pockets. It's mid-October. Ma says she's going to find me a coat at Goodwill. We haven't gone yet. Pop's worse. He sleeps all the time. Ma says Pop is depressed. When she's not working, she stays in our room, making sure he eats, dragging him by the hand to the cafeteria. He seems better after he saw Miss Garcia, like they shared something. He stopped complaining about my lessons, but Pop is always like this, better than worse. I heard Ma on her cell phone crying, telling Aunt Rita he might have to go to the hospital. She thought us kids were asleep. Well, in the dark, she wept, whispering into the tiny metal phone. Too much, she said. Too long. Nothing helps. I shivered in bed. It wasn't supposed to be this cold. I tucked Lita's icy feet against my tummy. During the fall, Pop always gets extra gloomy. I stop, catch my breath. No, every September. Pop gets worse. Why didn't I connect it sooner? September, Pop starts to unravel, becoming sad, distant. I just connected his moods to Thanksgiving and Christmas. Holidays are when I want most to our family to be happy, like the white families on TV and in magazines, eating turkey, opening presents, or playing board games. We never play board games. I can't remember when my last baked a turkey. My last gift was a ribbon. Nauseous, I close my eyes. I feel Brooklyn swirling about me, people chattering, feet stomping, and taxi horns honking. I want to scream, quiet, but the noisy city won't mind me. Am I doing the right thing? Maybe I should stay in Brooklyn, leave it alone, forget 9-11, wondering what it means to pop, to our family, and me. Forget everything, except I'm in the best school I've ever been. Abilene isn't so bad. Ma has a job, and I'm getting older every day. In high school, I might get a job at McDonald's. I'll buy Lita a baby doll, Ray a race car. I'll give my pay to Ma. Coo, 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 coo. A woo, woo, I look skyward. Ma said New York has tons of birds, but mostly folks are so busy, streets so loud, people miss seeing them. Coo, 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 woo. A woo, woo. I search the trees, a morning dove. See Deja, it's slender, small-headed, grayish-brown. With my dark eyes, I remember Ma stooping beside me, her arm about my waist, her finger pointing at a maple. See. I see it, to my left, in the tallest tree. coo 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 woo a woo woo Morning doves sound like they're crying. I want to cry, but I bet on Brooklyn streets no one would notice or care. I clench my fist. Wings whistling, the dove takes off, ascending. Then it lands, whistling on a tree just above me. I whistle, sharp, sweet. The dove's head tilts. He looks at me. coo 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 woo a woo woo I remember Ma said, doves fly, straight and powerful. Maybe that's why their wings whistle. They aren't really sad, or if they are, it doesn't stop them from flying, going where they want to go. I can stay at Avalon, stay at the school, just stay, but nothing about my family will change. I know it. Mom and Pop are stuck, maybe seeing where the tower stood. I might help Pop, Ma, all of us. Get unstuck, get out of Avalon, and move on to a better life. It's a slim hope, but it's all I have. I inhale. I'm Deja, the original, one and only. I don't want to be stuck. Whistling, the dove takes off, flies, point A to point B. Whistling, I take off too, running, flying down the street, on the ground. I have to weave around people, trees, lampposts, and trash cans. But I still feel good like I'm flying. Moving is better than going nowhere. I see Ben, sh whistle, a whistle sharp. He's got his backpack, and it makes me feel good that he's prepared. He's a good friend. As I move for toward him, I wonder, maybe Ben has a reason too. Not just for me, but for him too. 